Are you here? Hey, 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 welcome to the Paul Leslie Hour. It's a vast library of interviews with some very interesting and really cool people. Thanks for tuning in. On today's episode, we've got a short interview with singer-songwriter Neil Halstead. Now, this interview was recorded backstage in Athens, Georgia, just prior to Neil's live performance. The interview was broadcast way back in 2009. After that, it was kept on a disc, you know, until just the right moment. That moment is now. Neil Halstead has some very interesting solo albums. At the time of the interview, Neil's recent album was Oh Mighty Engine on Brushfire Records. Neil's latest solo record is entitled Palindrum Hunches. We recommend checking them out, for sure. Keep in mind, Neil is also a member of the band Slow Dive. They're touring Europe and Japan and the USA in 2024. Just check out their website, slowdiveofficial.com. Slowdiveofficial.com. And hey, one more thing. Won't you be a helper? Please subscribe to Paul Leslie's YouTube channel. You can also like the Paul Leslie Hour on Facebook. And thank you for being a helper and supporter. We've got brand new interviews and reviews coming up for the remainder of this year and beyond. So now, I think we should hear from Paul Leslie and Neil Halstead. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our special on Mr. Neil Halstead. It is a great pleasure to be here in Athens, Georgia, with the man himself, Mr. Neil Halstead. Thank you very much for making the time to speak with us. Oh, no worries. Yeah. I wanted to first start out by asking you what types of music you grew up listening to. Well, when I was, I guess, 14 or 15, I, I, I was listening to Jesus and Mary Chain, The Smiths, The Cure. I lost the guitar bands from America, Dinosaur Junior, Sonic Youth. Not only pretty heavy guitar stuff. Can you remember a time or a moment when you realized that you were going to be a musician? No, I never really had the revelation. I mean, you know, the first band I was in, we signed to Creation. We were all like 17, 18, and it was just something that happened pretty, you know, just kind of came out of nowhere. We were doing a gig in Reading, and someone just happened to see us, and, and we kind of ended up getting a record deal with really quick you know just so we i never kind of thought about it it just kind of happened and it was like oh okay you know so we were pretty lucky in that respect yeah what is it that you like about music what i like about music that's a tricky one i just i love everything about music you know i suppose you know just right from when i was a kid you know listening to the sort of you know when i was like i guess like 10 or 11 apparently i used to just play beatles records and just play them over and over again. I just, just love melodies and the harmonies and just the way it kind of makes you feel. And, you know, it's just something really special about going to see music played live, you know, whether it's about, you know, the volume of it or the melody or the kind of the noise or, or kind of, I don't know, you know, and I love it. And there's so much, you know, like in songs, you kind of got the whole, kind of songwriting aspect to it. So, you, you know, people like Leonard Cohen or Dylan, you kind of have the words and everything as well as the music. There's, a, there's so much going on there, but, I, you know, I enjoy it all. Very, very insightful. I was hoping you could tell us about your new album. You have a new album, and I was fortunate enough to see you perform many of those songs in Atlanta, Georgia, side stage when you were opening for Jack Johnson. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song from your new batch? Not really. I don't think I have a favorite song. Some some of the songs I enjoy playing live a bit, you know, like I always enjoy playing Sometimes the Wheels because cause it's a kind of good one for the audience to kind of react to because, you know, just because of some of the lyrics and stuff. And so that's always fun. And, you know, there's a couple of tunes with mandolin on the record and it's nice, you know, it's always in fun playing those ones live as well. But I, I guess I don't really have a favorite. I, don't, I tend to save my favorite songs for other people's records. You know, that's kind of when I have a favorite. (laughs) 
I was hoping you could tell the listeners out there where you where you were born, or where you, where you are originally from. From the UK, for England, I was born in a place called Reading, which is pretty close to London, and and I live now. I live in in Cornwall, which is maybe five hours out of London, and it's it's about as far south and west as you can go in England. Yeah. So, how did you find yourself on the Brushfire Records label? I I can't, I've known these guys for quite a while. And I, I met them through a friend of mine, a guy called Thomas Campbell, who who's, you know, does film, uh, surf films, and he's an artist. And he, I guess, has had connections to those guys for a long time. And, and they, you know, through surfing and whatnot. And, you, you know, and they, they produce his films, the Woodshed films. And I, I was out in California opening up Thomas's film. They were showing it around film theaters in California. And I'd come on and play a few songs before the film started. And and so I met Emmett and I met Jack, uh, Emmett Malloy, who's, who runs Brushfire, and, and Jack Johnson. And yeah, I ended up doing a couple of shows with, with Jack in Laguna Beach. And I don't know, the connection just kind of, you know, solidified, I guess. And and I was in California last year and, and they'd just finished building the studio in there. In in LA, and I ended up like going in recording most of the record, pretty much in ten days there. You know, so it's kind of just fortuitous, really. And it's you know a lot. I guess a lot of it's kind of a surfing connection. And it's just a connection. I'm on on that level as well as music. You know, so yeah, it's, I like them. They're a good label. You know. So tell us a little bit about the recording process. I've I've been curious about the studio. Yeah, with the Brushfire Studio, it's an eco studio, I guess. It's all solar powered, and and they have little midgets in the basement pedaling furiously to keep the lights on. <laughs> but it's yeah, I mean the record was you know it's pretty acoustic, so it's pretty straightforward. You know, just put the songs down. It took about ten days to do the basic songs and do some overdubs, and and then I just came back a couple of months later and, and kind of spent a week or so mixing it. You know. When someone goes to see you perform or when they listen to one of your records, what is it that you hope the listener gets out of the experience? I think you just, you hope they connect with the song, you know, they, that they enjoy that and they just enjoy, enjoy the, you know, enjoy the experience of listening or, you know, being at the gig or in, in listening to the records, you know, you just hope that people, it's just about connecting with it, I suppose, and enjoying it, you know, that's all you can uh, ever really hope for, you know, I, <laughs> yeah. Well, I have two final questions. This seems like a lighthearted question, but I always find it reveals something. What is your all-time favorite meal? <laughs> it's probably breakfast for me. Like, you know, I'm a big. Bre- I always like having, like in England, like a big kind of fried breakfast. It's kind of an indulgence, and you probably don't have it every day. But it's, not, I, I love, I love that. You know, and it's nice if you're out with friends and you have, you have surf or whatever, you do something and then you, you have breakfast and uh, a late breakfast. It's probably my favorite meal, I guess. Yeah. That's also my favorite meal of the day. But uh, my final question, this broadcast is going out all over the world. So I'd like to ask what you'd like to say to all the people listening in. What I'd like to say to them, go out and buy a house to them. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. You know, uh, Enjoy life, you know. What can I say? <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks for talking to me. And I would like everyone out there to check out myspace.com slash Neil Halstead and also brushfirerecords.com and get the album. Thank you very much. Thank you. We thank you and appreciate you dropping in for the Paul Leslie Hour today. You know, you can help the Paul Leslie Hour in our mission to provide independent media content like this by visiting www.thepaulleslie.com slash support. We truly thank you. This is your announcer speaking. Performance of the Entertainer intro song and Corina Corina outro song courtesy of John Primerano. Well, that's it for today. So until next time, be safe and be good. <laughs>